Our students spend a good couple of years in simulation clinics that are designed to replicate what the patient care clinic looks like. The same equipment, the same instruments, the same materials that students will be utilizing once they get into the patient care clinic. We do a variety of different teaching methodologies, so we work on um, dental models and also on partner patients. Our dental students either taking blood pressure on each other, doing a blood glucose measurement, or they're performing an intra or extra oral examination of the soft tissues. What you might see behind me would be students working on um, dentiforms or model patients, typodonts. Um, these all mean the same thing. These are fake patients. We would work on a dental model, work on um, hand skills, practice impressions. They repeat procedures over and over under the watchful guidance and care of our expert faculty who teach these courses. And before they're allowed to enter the clinic, they have to pass innumerable performance exams to be able to demonstrate that they have the skills and the understanding that they can evaluate their work and know that it's at an acceptable level. So when they enter our clinics, the transition is very smooth. We're using a variety of different um, advanced technology. We do all electronic record documentation so you'll see that each of our dental units also has a chairside computer and um, on the chairside computer students can access Axiom which is our um, electronic patient record documentation software. So once they have done the examination on each other, they collect the medical history, dental history, they do the clinical examination, examination of the dentition, and they learn how to enter the forms, how to write a note using the right terminology, uh, when they, so then they can be prepared for their own patients when they get to clinic. We have our digital design center, which is where we're doing CAD CAM dentistry. We will make a preparation or perform a preparation on a Dentec model, go to the digital design center, scan it, and we create a digital restoration or a digital wax up. In the digital workflow, the amount of error is basically zero. It's very predictable and very precise. For example, we may make a final impression for a crown. In the old days, we would take the material and put it in your mouth and wait for it to set up, and then we have to pour casts, and it, it, it's a very long, arduous procedure. But now we can actually take a picture of the crown preparation and we can actually have that crown made for you within a matter of hours, instead of the patient having to wait two, three, four weeks for a restoration. We need to strive to have the best in terms of education. We need to strive with that education to be connected to the rest of the health sciences, um, which is, happens in contemporary dental practice today. We need to make sure that our students are ready and prepared for those experiences to be able to address the issues and the needs of the 21st to the 22nd century, which is not that far away when you think of it. And so there's a tight connection there between dentistry and oral health and our medical colleagues and all of the healthcare providers. And that's why it's so important that as we go forward, Oral health is connected to general health, and we can do that through improving uh, the way we educate our students so that they are firmly integrated within all of the health sciences that are taught on this campus.